up everybody welcome back to red thorns gaming it's friday night fortress siege number 43 here in lineage 2 revolution see what's going on here today i've got two real fights one of them's a b grade one of them's an a grade i will be doing the a grade that is korean legacy versus red devils red devils used to be known as infinity so I've got four minutes. Let's get into what's going on here. This is for A-Grade Fortress, Red Devils on top, 258,262,900, I'm sorry, 694. Korean Legacy, 248, 094, 094. 10 million, a little under 10.2 million combat power difference between the two clans. Both clans are Korean. Anytime you see two Korean clans here in Lineage 2 Revolution go head to head, it's sure to be a good fight. Let's see what they pay for. Red Devils, 120 million Adena paid for the right to challenge Korean Legacy for this A-grade fortress. Let's head into the battlefield. The Harden buff just went off, so we'll start seeing people flow in as, as we are seeing now. I will be back at about a minute and a half. We've got 90 seconds remaining for the beginning of this battle. And Korean Legacy's leader has not yet shown up. Korean Legacy in the blue on the top. The defenders. And apparently they are the underdogs. If you base that off of just straight combat power. Of which they are down quite a bit. But we know combat power doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Still waiting on their leader to come in. Okay, we got 45 seconds. I don't see their leader. I don't even know if I'd be able to actually pronounce their name. We'll head on down. Good luck to Korean Legacy. Here are the Red Devils. And there is their leader, Tanker. It's always easy to find the attackers, but never easy to find the defenders. Soon. 10 seconds before we begin. 5 seconds before we begin. And here we go! Fortress Seas, number 43, Korean Legacy, defending against the Red Devils. Tanker, tanker up there. Trying to do some damage to the defensive tower. On the team. Korean Legacy finally starting on their altar imprint, and so are Red Devils. Korean Legacy interrupted. There goes the defense tower. There goes the non-spawn gate of Korean Legacy. Red Devils. 10% buff in the next three minutes. Going to see a fight here. Red Devils. Looks like they got stacked a little bit. They are currently taking Korean Legacy's Alter Imprint interrupted. Good interruption with about a second and a half left there. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Tanker. Got a half a second maybe. Got skirmishes going on all over the place. Korean Legacy does not want Red Devils to get that 30% buff. Let's check it out. There's one over there up, up by the non-spawn gate of Korean Legacy. And there's one obviously down here around the altar imprint of Korean Legacy. Korean Legacy on the defense right now. The Devils interrupted it again. They only have a minute and a half remaining in their 10% buff. Look at Big Ben here. And 30% buff for the next 1 minute and 17 seconds. There goes the non-spawn gate of Red Devils. Red 
Oh, big battle over here at the spawn gate of Korean Legacy. Tanker trying to go for some more time. Just a sliver left in there goes the spawn gate of Korean Legacy. I've got 246 kills to 136. Red Devils to KL. KL pushing them, trying to push them out. And Yaros is Korean Legacy's leader. Red Devils interrupted on their own altar. Twice. The Devil's over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. 30% buff for the next one minute and 15 seconds. See what else is going on. That Holy Artifact defense tower has been taken down. Giving a little breathing room to Tanker. They are beginning to work on the other one. They're working on the other one. They have, they have destroyed that second one. There's Tanker right there. And he's been killed. Red Devils, 15 seconds left in their 30% buff. Green Legacy, unable to really get down into Red Devils' base. And at least take out a Holy Artifact Defense Tower. The altar of Earth imprinting has been Tanker's back, knocked down. The and killed. Red Devils surrounding the Holy Artifact of Korean Legacy. There goes Tanker. He's finally getting some serious time here. Eight seconds before Red Devils wins this fight. Four seconds. And congratulations to the Red Devils for successfully attacking and taking the A-grade fortress away from Korean Legacy. Boy, that was a quick one. Congratulations to G-John taking number one. Yaros for taking number two. Here are your stats. Wow. I expected that fight to go... Well... Considering that they were down over 10 million in combat power... I'm not really, I didn't really expect it to go the, the distance, but I did expect it to go a little bit longer. But such is the way of life here in Lineage 2 Revolution. One dash on Korean Legacy side. Two dashes on Red Devil's side. There are your stats, ladies and gentlemen. The other one, tiny, okay, so I was told that that was not even a real one. Now that I'm thinking back. Somebody said that the Tiny Air versus Whiskey, I guess that was some drug deal that, that wound up not happening to be a real fight. And all the rest of these were pretty much fixed. But there you have it, Red Devils. Congratulations, Red Devils, taking the, the A-grade fortress. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.